All right, in this video, I'm just going to show a quick way to estimate the, the correlation coefficient in certain cases. And again, this is definitely an estimate, so if you need an exact value, by all means, use the formula. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the formula positive or negative. We'll determine which sign we use. 1 minus 1 over k. So we'll talk about how to figure out k. So, okay, the first thing is we'll just make a little scatter, a scatter plot of your data. So there's my scatter plot of my data. We want to make sure that our, our, our window of data is square. So what I mean is if you kind of look at, you know, sort of the, um, I guess I shouldn't use black again. If you look at, say, you know, uh, the highest point on the, uh, the top right and the, the, the furthest point uh, to the left and the bottom, notice if you were to kind of put a box around that. If we were to put a box around that data, notice it would be square. Okay, so, so it needs to be roughly square. Okay so, okay, so my data fits in a nice little square. That's the first thing. Okay, so we've got that condition being satisfied. What we do next is we're going to make a little rectangle. So forget about the, the little red box there. We don't really care about that anymore. What we do is we're, we take, you know, take your pen or your pencil, and you're going to need two of them. We're going to enclose our data uh, using, in this case, a pen and a pencil. And we want the, the lines to be parallel. So, okay, there they are being parallel. So, all right, my data is now enclosed. We want it to be as tight as possible, you know, without, uh, um, well, still keeping it parallel. And you want all the data points to be enclosed. So, hey, that to me looks pretty parallel. So um, I'm going to just roughly sketch a little box here. So there's my box, and it's just going to go, you know, it's going to, again, enclose all my data points. So there's my box. Okay, so this box, the rectangular box, is what we're going to use to figure out the value of k. So what we do is we now estimate the number of times longer the rectangle is than its width. Okay, so the easiest way for me to do this is to make a little, I, I kind of chop it up into squares. So, okay, so if we look at a square, I don't know, roughly about that, that size, there would be one square, there would be two squares, there would be three squares, there would be four squares, and I don't know, that's almost another whole square. I'm going to say that it's roughly, roughly 4.5 times as long as it is wide. Okay, so again, uh, so one square, two squares, three squares, four squares, and roughly another, uh, at least a half a square. Okay, so it's 4.5 times as long as it is wide. That is going to be our k value. So k in this case is going to equal 4.5, and that's what we're going to use in our formula. Since our data is pointing upwards, since it's pointing upwards, we're going to use a positive if, since the data is going up. If the data was, uh, you know, trending downwards in general, we would use a minus sign. So that's all there is to it. So let's compute this real quick, and uh, we'll get a rough estimate for our correlation coefficient. So we said we'll either use positive or negative, 1 minus 1 over k. Well, we decided since our data was moving up, we'll use a positive. So we've got 1 minus 1 over 4.5. All right, well, I guess, let's see, if we wanted to do this by hand, you could multiply top and bottom uh, by 10. So times 10 times 10. That would give us 1 minus 10 over 45. And let's see, I guess we can reduce that. Certainly 5 goes into both of those. So that'll be, let's see, 5 goes into 10 twice, 5 goes into 45 uh, 9 times. We can make 1 into a fraction by saying that's 9 over 9, minus 2 over 9. We'll do the arithmetic on the top. That'll leave us with 7 over 9, and I happen to have a calculator here right quick. I guess uh, you can probably do this in your, well, maybe. Uh, maybe you could do this in your head. Uh, one ninth is almost is just point one 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 repeating, so seven ninths would be point well point seven repeating, or we can round this off to point let's say seven seven eight. So that would be a rough estimate now for our correlation coefficient.
And again, it took a second or two, obviously, in this video to explain it all. But this is something you could do super, super, you know, super quickly on a test if you just had to estimate, or maybe you had a multiple choice, you know, a multiple choice um, type of situation. So again, all you want to do, the data has to be, uh, the window of data has to be enclosed in a square, and then we just put it in a little rectangle. That was the next thing that we did, and then we just, again, we we uh, count. We just do a rough estimate as to how many uh, times how many times the rectangle is as long versus how wide it is. We then plug it in our formula, and that'll be a rough estimate for our correlation coefficient.